The Cotswold Way, an epic hiking route covering just over 100 miles across the entire length of the Cotswolds. And in this video, I will be hiking as much of the Cotswold Way that I possibly can in just one day. So my plan was to start in the north of the Cotswolds at Dover's Hill at around 8 a.m and then follow the trail south until I literally could not walk anymore. So please subscribe, let's begin. So here I am right now at the top of Dover's Hill, which is gonna be acting as my start point uh, for this hike on the Cotswold Way today. This is the incredible view from Dover's Hill. Uh, the first stop is Broadway Tower. So the very trustworthy Google Maps says that Broadway Tower is a one hour hike away. Um, so we will see. I think once I know how fast I can hike this first hour, that will give me a good indication of how far I may be able to get today on the Cotswolds Way. So uh, yeah, let's not waste any more time and um, let's head to Broadway Tower. So if you are hiking the Cotswolds Way yourself, this is what you're looking out for. Um, these little acorn signs. It's actually really well signposted so far. I'm not gonna speak too soon because if you have been watching my channel for a while, you will know that <laughs> first opportunity, I will get lost. Oh, you gotta love these completely pointless gates. I, have, I always have a bit of an urge to go through them. Don't know why. Alright, so I'm at the Fish Hill Picnic Place right now, and this is a perfect little map of the Cotswold Way right here. So, started in, well, not quite Chipping Camden, uh, and we're heading to Broadway, which is right here. We have the town of Winchcombe, there's a few small little villages above there, and then we have Cleve Hill. I have no clue how far we're going to get. I doubt that we'll get as far as Cheltenham today. That would be uh, very fun. But this gives you a good idea of the scale of the Cotswold Way, uh, ending right in Bath, down the south, down there. tower over there. I thought this ground was looking familiar. So let's go get a closer look. Okay, so here we are at Broadway Tower. The thing that you can see behind me, uh, very imposing as always. It was easy to navigate here because you can see it from so far away. So. It's absolutely great and the views from here are astounding. You might actually remember this if you watched my uh, best things to do in the Cotswolds video because obviously, obviously I mentioned this place because it's incredible. So it took me pretty much exactly one hour to get here which is actually exactly what Google Maps suggested. And another interesting thing about this hill in general is actually the second highest hill in the Cotswolds. But yeah, this tower is very dramatic and I think it's made to look exactly that way. I mean, it's got battlements, it's got I'm not sure what they are, maybe gargoyles, I can't tell, but some sort of heads coming off of it. And it's a perfect place to chill out for five minutes and uh, eat chocolate bar. Great, so that sums up Broadway Tower. Let's move on to our next little stop now, which is the town of Broadway itself, which I can actually see right ahead of me over there. It shouldn't actually be too far away. But first, I've got to say hello to some cows, it seems. Well, cows and horses, actually. What do you know? And some sheep, obviously. right now overlooking Broadway. This is a really great viewpoint actually. And the next few places that we're going to be passing on this video are kind of like small towns, villages, um, and our next big goal is around a two and a half hour walk away. Uh, and that is the iconic and quite famous really, um, Hales Abbey. So here we are in Broadway itself. So there is a couple of museums here in Broadway, uh, an art gallery as well, and uh, more places to eat than you could ever want.
So I'm really enjoying that. I can still see Broadway Tower. That is just how kind of dominating it is over the landscape. So also, I love that I've climbed from that high hill over there all the way down into this valley. And now I'm going back up to a hill that looks almost as high, if I'm honest. So that's always nice. So it has happened, my first navigational error. It was bound to happen. I mean, I lasted about two and a half hours, which I'm quite happy with, to be honest. I've managed to navigate into literally a bog, as always. Um, and the Cotswold Way is, uh, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but way up there. So it's not like I can just sidetrack across to it. But I'm sure we'll join along. We are roughly following it. So yeah, I'll see. Okay, I've just tried to rejoin the Cotswold Way by hiking up the side of the hill that I missed. I was way down there. <laughs> okay, so what you can see right now behind me is the lovely village of Stanton. We finally made it. Had to do a little bit of a detour. I've sort of lost the Cotswold Way a little bit, but the Cotswold Way goes straight through here so we can regain it here. It is currently 11.35, so I've been walking since 8 three and a half hours, and I have currently walked 13.4 kilometers. So it's all going well, we're making good progress. Let's keep on walking now. There we go, back on the Cotswold Way. Hello. Made some dog friends it seems. I don't know what this one's doing. So here we are, this is Hales Abbey. I am taking shelter because it's currently raining and what better place to take shelter than in uh, the old toilet? <laughs> but we did make it, which is great. The time is currently 20 to two. Uh, I've been walking for around five and a half hours now and uh, I've done 19.5 kilometers. So uh, yeah, I think we're making pretty good progress actually. And there's a lot of really interesting things in this area that I really can't wait to see. So a little bit of history about Hales Abbey. It dates back to the 13th century and it was built by Richard, the Earl of Cornwall. And it was a very popular place for pilgrimages in medieval times because in 1270, Hales Abbey got a vial containing what was said to be the holy blood. And uh, after that, this was a very popular place. Unfortunately though, just over 250 years later, it did fall victim, much like many of the abbeys and monasteries in the area, to King Henry VIII's dissolution of the monasteries. And that's why we see so many in this unfortunate ruined state today. I think it's all of the interesting places that I'm seeing on this hike that has given me so much motivation uh, to kind of keep going further and uh, to see what I'll find next. So this is really great. So let's explore a little bit more. Um, I think the rain has actually stopped now, which is great. So I'm gonna get out of this old toilet and uh, go and um, have some lunch, I think. So here's my lunch, got it. A lot of pasta and uh, some pork chops as well, which is great and very needed because I'm very hungry uh, from all this walking. So the rain has begun, which is great. I guess it was only a matter of time. Uh, it looks terrible over here, but over there, it's kind of nice. And I think that's coming. So hoping I'll get a little bit more sun before the day's over. All right, just a bit of an update, energy wise. Uh, I'm around six and a half hours in now. And surprisingly, I mean, I'm tired right now because I have to walk up this massive hill. But uh, surprisingly, I feel okay. I mean, the hills are definitely slightly more tiring than they were back at the start of the day this morning, but uh, on the flat, still totally okay. Feel fine. My legs are slightly achy. 
So that town that you can see just behind me down there is the town of Winchcombe, which is another kind of quite big milestone for people hiking the Cotswold Way. So now basically I'm just trying to plan my route out. <laughs> uh, essentially since Hales Abbey I didn't plan too much where exactly I was going to go. And I am also starting to get a little bit tired now, I'll be honest. I'm about seven and a half, almost eight hours in at this point. Uh, and I want to make sure to finish, you know, the hike on seeing something really cool. I don't just want to be wandering around aimlessly. So I'm going to try and get back to the Cotswold Way uh, and kind of follow that to the Bellasnap Long Barrow. That would be a pretty good endpoint. I'd be pretty proud of that as an endpoint. So I've currently walked around 25 kilometers uh, and um, yeah, let's see what we get by the end. So here we are right now, back on the Cotswold Way, finally. Uh, I have been so lost. We are here almost at the Bellas Nap Long Barrow. I hope I'm saying that right. And yes, I've been walking for around eight and a half hours now and done around 30 kilometers. And honestly, I feel like I am starting to get a bit tired now. Uh, it's like, I wouldn't want to say that I've hit a limit, like any sort of mental or physical limit on how much I can walk in a day because I still feel like after a 10 minute sit down and a bit of food, a bit of water, I can keep going. But yeah, I am starting to kind of maybe have slightly more of a unoptimistic outlook on how much more walking I can do because my legs are starting to ache, my feet are very achy. <laughs> I'm probably gonna wake up tomorrow and not gonna be able to walk, which is gonna be great. Uh, but I am back on the Cotswold Way now and heading towards the Bellas Nap Long Barrow. I'm really excited to see it. So let's go. So here we are, I have made it and it feels great. This is Bellas Nap Long Barrow, uh, which is probably going to be the final point of the video. We'll see if there's anything on the other side yet um, before we make that decision. But I think this is a pretty great ending point uh, anyway. But let's have a little look around it and talk about some of the history of this amazing place. So this barrow is over five and a half thousand years old and it was constructed by prehistoric people as a place to bury their dead. And there was evidence when this was first uncovered of 38 skeletons uh, of people that had died somewhere between the years of 3700 and 3600 BC. And there is different chambers all throughout this and each contained a few skeletons. So let's go have a look around, do a lap of it, and see what we see. Ellie is currently on the way to come and pick me up from my finishing location. Uh, very kind of her. And um, she's gonna pick me up from the car park, which is located around a 20 minute walk that way. Uh, but she'll be a little while getting here. So I'm gonna walk over that way and just walk a little bit further, maybe 20 or so minutes on uh, the Cotswold Way, and then maybe another 40 minutes back. And we'll just see, we'll see if it is my limit and uh, if I can do any more. So this is where Ellie picked me up from my hike and it's currently a few days later and this is the fun bit where we get to look at my statistics and see just how well or not well I did. So in total I walked 21.5 miles and I was hiking for a total time of 9 hours, 43 minutes and 48 seconds. I did 49,000 steps and climbed a total elevation of 797 meters. So yes, thank you for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I thought I would try something a little bit different, but this was a really fun challenge and I loved the Cotswold Way. I cannot wait, in fact, to go back and explore more of it, but I'll probably just not try and do it in one day this time. So please subscribe if you enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.